Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you. Today, we're going to see about wiring some more stuff up because, you know, we haven't done nearly enough of that. All right, uno, numero uno. First thing I want to do here is wire up these fans because, you know, without fans, stuff gets hot. So I had temporarily rigged this up. Residential household wire nuts. Listen, you listen, don't, these are not permanent, okay? But as a temporary gig, they're pretty good, pretty handy. Oh, that was my ground. So listen, I zipped it up and everything because um, I didn't want to get caught in the, I didn't want it to get caught in the stuff as it's twirling around here. So we got red and black. And that's hot and ground. Red is hot, black is ground. Except in your house, try that and you'll get shocked. I said to myself, it's a half inch. And then what do I do? Well, I get a 916. Listen, we, we can't all be Elon Musk over here. You know what I'm saying? I use these white zip ties as, you know, temporary zip ties. I don't know why. I guess because they're white and nobody wants, you know, white sucks. This is my hot wire. It goes to the fans, but it's not long enough to run it, you know, where I want to run it. And it's already got a connection in it. And I don't like putting 400 connections and stuff. I mean, you know. I don't, it's just, a, it's just the way it is. Oh, is that the wrong one? Oh, that's the wrong one. Well, that's not. Um, so I want to pop this out of the relay here. You just pop that little tab, you know, push it and it pops out. So what I want to do is get a nice long wire and put a new puppy end thing on it. Let's do that. Let's see. This will be... Oh, this one should be long enough. Let me tell y'all something while we have this little bit of downtime. Wiring, okay, listen, any jack nut, almost any jack nut, can put wires together and make stuff work. I'm proof of that, okay? But actual, like, quality wiring making it look beautiful, making everything make sense, and doing it exactly the right way. That's an art form. An underappreciated art form. So if you know somebody that's really good at it, give them a hug today. They deserve it. Go hug your wiring guy. So it needs to go, needs to go in like this. Get in there. There we go. Okay, now I can run this. I want to run it along with this because this is my um, this is the stuff for the headlights and whatever else is up here. Horn maybe, windshield washer, pump thing, or is that somewhere else? I have no idea. But anyway, we're gonna run it with that. I'm trying not to have a rat's nest. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes a rat's nest. You know what? I've changed my mind. I think I want to run it down there. Don't worry, fellas. I got permission before I change my mind. Get that under there. We're going to go. Yep, we're going to go right along there. That'll be delicious. Let me just pull that under here. Just, I need this part. This is the part, right, that I'm looking for? What is it hung up on? There we go. Oh, I hit my funny mode. I hit my funny mode, and it's not real funny. There's my bend. We'll cut it right there. Boom. Shaka Dalaka. We'll chuck of this. 
Chuka. I use these heat shrink connectors. Different people do different things. This is what I do. I don't solder. The only thing I solder is if it's like ohm sensitive or something. Otherwise, these are what I use. Give it the little tug test. Oh, it, it's perfect. Fire. Shrink up, little buddy. Just melt it right on there. Love it. Nothing like the smell of burning plastic in the morning. I need to find me a ground wire. That should take care of the fans on a relay here. It's triggered by the, you know, the magic box. It's a ground trigger. So we got our fuel pump. We got our fans. We'll test that when we fire the truck up. Now we got to address our TCC brake switch, which I initially wired wrong. I don't know what TCC means. Torque control, torque converter, control, I don't know, something. Anyway, this wire goes to the uh, magic box there, and it needs 12 volts, except for when you hit the brake switch, and then you kill the 12 volts. So, best thing to do is put that on a relay and trick it. I'll show you how to do that. I got to get it off of here. Did I disconnect the battery? Oh yeah, I disconnected the battery. We're good. We're good. There we go. I need that wire. And this, this can go back for now. Okay, here's my relay. Now what I'm about to tell you, I cannot take credit for. I got this from Brendan. Um, and you can go to his site, lt1swap.com. And he has all the information on this. But basically, this blue wire is going to go to our um, brake switch. The red one's going to go to a 12 volt keyed hot, ignition hot. Black is ground. And then this one's going to come from the brake light switch. And then what it should do is give this, you know, wire hot 12 volts all the time, except for when you hit the brake. And then it'll shut it off. So we'll wire it up and test it. I edit out a lot of the fit and fiddle because watching somebody wire is like watching paint dry. Where's my flamethrower? Anybody seen the flamethrower? Anybody? Anybody? Found it. We got our ground, we got our hot, and we got our TCC brake switch all hooked up. Now I need one to go into the cab for the brake switch. I'm gonna, I could use any color I want for this. So I'm going with green, just because it was, you know, the first one I grabbed. I gotta try and get under here. I'm way too fat for this. So this is the original truck brake switch, but it sticks. It's sticky and it's plastic. I got this nice metal one, probably from China. So I'm gonna use it. Let's see. One of these. No, 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 no. I got nothing. Come on. That can't be right. Maybe my ground is not a ground. How about this one? There we go. Okay. Now we get this brake light. Now that I know my ground is good, let's see if, oh crap, one of these is, oh, hot all the time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the brown one is the hot one. I can't see anything under here. I got no idea if I'm hooking this up right or not. Okay, so the other side of this that sends power to the brake lights is what I need to tap into for the TCC. Now, I also need to tap into that for a wire for the cruise control, which we'll wire up later. But since I'm doing both right now, or since I, they both need, let's 
since they both need power from this wire at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, hook them both up now. I mean, you really got to be acrobatic for this nonsense, and I am not. T C C. That's terrible crash controller. If you don't, you know, have it, you could get into a terrible crash. Oh, look at there. I dropped it right where it needs to go. Couldn't do that again if I tried my switch here. I need to mount it. There's all this radio jazz. I don't, you know, I don't need all this right now. It's just a distraction. Well, there's my newfangled brake switch put in with my plug here. So now we can go test it, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to. All right, I'm going to stick the relay in here, but not all the way. All right, James, turn the key back on. This one in here should be hot. Yes. And this one should be hot. Yes. Okay, so our... TCC brake switch is getting power right now. Go ahead and push the brake pedal. Perfect. It clicked off. That's exactly what we want. Now we can get our alternator wired up. This is the original alternator wire from the truck, but this thing is putting out a solid twist. This is the exciter wire, but it's putting out a solid 12 volts, and this can't get a solid 12 volts, or you know, you'll burn it up or whatever. At least that's what they say. So this connector here, we want this one wire off the L terminal. And we got a solder in a resistor. 470 ohm resistor. So I guess we'll get to getting on that. Let me put my cookie tin down in here. Just to make sure I don't get no solder anywhere I don't want it. Is that how I wanted it? Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay. Went ahead and ran the ground wire to the little grounding tab on the alternator too, because they recommend it. Of course, when I say they recommend it, I don't really know who they is. I figure it's a panel of automotive scientists. Do you recommend a ground wire? Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Now we get to the part that I'm most excited about. We get to wire in this OBD2 connector. And I got this from Amazonia. It was like 15 bucks or something. Anyway, we only need pins 2, 4, and 5, and 16. So pin 2 goes to the data wire. 4 and 5 go to a ground. And then 16 goes to a constant 12 volts. So we'll wire those up. And then I think we can relearn the throttle body. Yay! This one is my power wire. And I got it on a little 5 amp fuse. You know, so we don't blow stuff up or whatever. I don't know, 5, is that, enough? Is that the right number? This brown one is my data. This is my ground wire. This should give us data. Well, now I should be able to plug this in and see if we can get the O2 sensor, I mean the throttle body sensor relearned. It said beep. It's scanning. It's communicating. That's a good sign. Turns out the problem was I didn't have the power wire hooked up to the tack module. Imagine that. Anyway, I got it running again and it uh, it idles exactly where it should. Here, I'll show you. Look, right around 700 RPMs, right where it should be. That's awesome. The only thing left to do now is take it for a ride. Let me grab my seat.
It drives, it drives, it drives, it drives, it drives, freaking drives great. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're a good driver. Yes, you are. Well, we resolved this problem. We wired the fans. We wired the TCC. We got this resolved. But most importantly, this. So now we just got to get it buttoned up, you know, wiring important things like my radio and, uh, AC. We need to get that done. We need to get exhaust. We need to get a front end alignment. We need to get the interior done, but it runs and drives and it drives really well. And listen, that's going to do it for this video. And I want to thank you all for following along with this project. We still got a little ways to go, but it's, it's, uh, it's been a good one and uh, really enjoyed putting this together for you. Cannot wait until Winston is a, a full-time shop truck. So Hope you'll join me again in the future. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Holy smokes. I think it's time to celebrate with something from the Prohibition era. <laughs>